guys, this is Maisie from Crafty Twins, and today I'm going to show you how to make these colorful lupins. And this is a picture that we have of them, but I painted this, and all you need is a watercolor brush, some watercolor paint, a piece of paper. I'm using a bigger piece of paper, but it really doesn't matter, and some water. So, I'm first, all you need to do is first of all taking one of your green colors and making three strokes down the line one on the right one on the left and one in the middle you might need to add some extra water um, to your streaks because you need a lot of water and water color okay so after you have three streaks like that you want to take this kind, a uh, kind of yellow, but not a bright kind of yellow, more dimmed out color, and kind of start making like a triangle. And then, then you take some, um, take that same green that I used for the streaks, and kind of dot those down, and kind of put some more water on it, so it will blend in a little bit more. I'm gonna do that with all the other ones. Okay, so now I have those done, and now we're going to start with the streaks, and you actually kind of just need to really get used to it, um, because when I started out, they came, they got better and better as it went along. So I'm using kind of a round-tipped um, watercolor brush to do mine, because I find it's easier that way. So I'm going to start off with this pinkish red right here, if you guys can see that color. I'm just going to add some extra water, put it in there making sort of a little little puddle in there and I'm gonna start my streaks and you kinda wanna make a little U and you wanna go along these and after I'm gonna, just gonna kinda go different directions but they're gonna look like this and, it, this and the petals are gonna look different with different brushes you use so fatter ones are gonna make them look more um, uh, thicker and bulkier but, in the more or less water you use in paint, they might get lighter or darker. So, you simply just do this. And then, you keep doing that till you get to the end of the stem. Okay, so I got to the bottom of the stem. And now, I'm gonna, just going to go wet my brush again. And then, I'm going to go like in different directions, kind of just making the petals look more... Um, free-handed. Mom, did you get something on my thing? And that was my sister just yelling. <laughs> but, oh well. So, I just did that. And I did a couple more petals at the end, so you can see, to get a little bit wider, but not much. I kind of, I like to keep it about the same thick. So, that's how you do all the flowers. And I usually do different colors. Okay, so I'm mixing my, um, I'm going to mix these two colors to make kind of a purple color. It's more like blue, but I like those two colors together. So I'm just going to put it in my palette. And I always add some extra water in there. So it will get more wa water. Okay, so I'm just going to do that same thing with the petals the whole way down. Okay, so I finished my second lupin, and I'm going to go on to my third. So I'm rinsing off my brush, and now I'm going to make this purple. So I'm going to use this blue and put it in this one. I'm just going to take a bunch, and then... Rinse off my brush. Make sure you always rinse off your brush before you um, change colors. And then mix that in. I'm going to put some more blue in there because the pink kind of overpowers that blue. So, there. And I that's kind of a very pretty color. So, And it kind of matches with the blue, so I like how they're right next to each other. And again, I'm going to do that same petals as I did with the other two. 
You want to kind of make um, U-shaped ones, but they come out bigger or smaller with different kind of brushes, as I said before. So, when I started, it kind of looked like Nike swooshes, so... Um, you just want to get some practice, and the more you go along, the better it will get. Okay, so now I finished my um, three lupins. I will be adding other lupins in, but now I'm going to show you how to make these little um, leaves. So it took me a long time to get used to it, like at the end. And I don't know if I still have nailed it quite yet, but I'm still going to try. And so you kind of make a dot. And then you press your brush down, you pull back, and then you let go. And you're going to kind of make a star shape. Just you press down, pull back, and let go. Kind of quickly so it can make that little end part. And like that. And I, I think they look better um, lighter than darker, which I used more paint on my other ones. So and you're just going to continue doing this. And tell you the truth this it's like the trickiest part I think and you guys should really try this project because it's really simple you don't need much paint and not very many colors usually the pretty much the usual colors that many people have and so that's really all you need to do until you put as many leaves as you would like Okay, so I got on all my leaves, and now I'm going to add some more lupins. And I used the color, that same color as I did with the stems. So, and it's okay if you go over these, but when you do the leaves, I try not to hit them. And then um, I take, and I do that same dot. I think they look better if you kind of space them out a little bit more, but they're supposed to like kind of blend in. Um, together but if they don't that's fine just want to put those two colors together and then now I'm gonna put in this kind of uh, orangish pinkish red and add some more water okay and I'm gonna do those same petals and I'm just gonna add a couple more lupins to my painting Okay, so I was trying not to hit these little leaves, but I went over a couple, but that's okay. And if you do the stems, try not to go as dark, because I am I accidentally went a little bit dark, and you can still, like, see most of the stem, even when you, like, paint over it. Like, but that's okay, because, you know, I want you to be able to, be able to see the stem, but not all of it, so that's okay. Now I'm going to add one last loop in. So usually I put them four or five. I like five. Um, I have this little leaf right here. I don't like to put too much, like, in this area or this area, because I know I'm going to add another loop in there. But that's okay. And again, I do the dotting. And I actually think it's easier doing the dotting with a smaller brush, because I like the dots more smaller, I think. So, I'm just going to try the dot. It's pretty small, but not too small. And you'll try want to try to make a triangle shape on this. Like that. Okay, so now I finished out and I'm going to add a little bit more color to them. Another color and you don't need to have so much gift to do this kind of painting because it's super simple. So I'm just going to add some more color, to, a different color that's kind of similar. To these other ones but not too much because I want to keep the base color normal and I'm just gonna do that and I'm gonna add this color to this one don't know if that's a much a difference but well I'm gonna add this color to this purple which I like and so you can you can make these messy or neat I mean the lupins aren't supposed to be neatly um perfect petals especially when you're painting them because you want them to be kind of free and you know wild so you know you try to make them look nice but not too nice you know okay so now i'm going to add some more of those flowers up higher i just didn't want to do that because i didn't want to like get in the way of the lupins it's kind of cute it's going to look kind of cute like 
putting them like right between here but I don't want to put too many because I don't want it to really interfere so I'm gonna take that same stem color and do some and I like putting the dot in the middle just pulling back and letting go and some are gonna look better than others it's just how it goes and so that one wasn't my best but you know I really don't care because it's just a fun little project that I really love to do and you guys should really give this one a try because it's simple and fun like really really fun and I've made two of these and I just learned how to do it today already so you know you can sell these but you might want some practice sell some paintings and this is really cute and if you get more practice on this so you can get them to look more realistic and it's beautiful and do learn some more tips along as you go so just gonna put these and I might add some other later but so and drawings always look better the next day which I think and so these are my two little lupins um, in the comments below, can you tell me what one you guys like better, my first one or my second? Um, it seems like on my first one, they got better and better as they went along because I got more in the hang of it. But I really hope you guys like this craft, and I really hope you give it a try. And if you haven't already, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.